The one guy goes, is this your sister? I said, no, it's my kid. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, bless you. Baby? No. Oh, can we tell our story first? Say, so we had quite the spill. Oh no! How do we do that? I stole a kiss. I stole a kiss. I stole a kiss. Huh? Okay, go get it. Hey guys, it's Kat. Today I'm going to be talking about having to call 911 on my toddler, or for my toddler. So we were going about our day as normal, and we decided to. What are you doing? Come in. And it was time to start getting ready for bed. So I started to gather the stuff up and I moved the gate out of the way like I normally do. And I keep it up when she's down here. And you know, when we're upstairs, I don't because it doesn't go upstairs. <laughs> and I turned around for a second and little one darted up the steps. I didn't see that she was darting all the way up because usually she only goes up one or two. So I didn't notice that she had gone completely, hey, that's lucky upstairs and then all of a sudden I look and she's at the top of the steps and right as I look she like leans over and tumbles all the way down and I mean I watched and I couldn't do anything it is an awful feeling to literally watch your one-year-old tumble down the steps and you not be able to do anything like I could see her and I watched her hit her neck and oh it was so scary and then I grab her and I try to make sure like obviously I pick her up immediately because she was starting to squirm and I wanted to make sure her neck ah! I wanted to make sure her neck was like stabilized because if there's a neck injury or head injury you want to just like make sure they don't move it because it could completely hurt them really bad <laughs> and keeping a toddler still is nearly impossible I don't usually film when she's awake if she's here at all no leave it alone So I call Bobby, he doesn't answer. So I'm like, well, I don't know what to do. I brought her over to like the living room area. So I call 911, I'm like, my one-year-old just fell all the way down a flight of steps and I don't know what to do. I don't know if she's hurt. And they asked for my address and they send the ambulance here. And it sounds not as bad as it was. And it was just really scary because I watched her hit her neck and her head really hard and like, I almost wish I was vlogging to see my own reaction. I mean, the first thing I thought was she snapped her neck. So I hear the sirens. They told me to unlock the door anyways. And I'm holding her and I'm just like, my baby, my baby. And they get here and they check her out and she wouldn't let them touch her or anything. And ah! No. Tinkerbells. <gasps> Luckily, it was three dads. Like the EMTs were dads also, and the one had like a 15 month old and she is almost 14 months. So he was able to like relate and they like looked at her eyes and kind of felt around and made sure like she didn't have anything that was broken. They said I could have her taken to the emergency room. Oh, 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 come here. To have further testing done because obviously they can't see what all is going on inside. There's obviously stuff that could be going on that they can't see, like it's happening internally. They said I could take her. And I said, okay, well, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, and they all ended up coming to the agreement that like, yeah, you probably don't need to take her. Just, she seems, since she's acting normal, just keep an eye on her. So I had her stay up for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> More? 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 Can you show me more? No. Yes. Say please. Please. Ooh. 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 No. Yeah. Um, right over there. Look, right there. There. Go get it. Go get something. Yeah, right there. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I had like a hundred missed calls from Lee because I don't usually call him if I have her because unless I want it, I'm wanting him to get her and it wasn't. Um, so he probably knew it was like an emergency that I called anyways because I had just gotten her not that long ago. 
So I called him back and told him what happened. He was really mad that I didn't have the gate up. So I called my mom because he was wanting to pick her up and she came down to the house, well, down because it's actually north, up to the house, whatever. <laughs> and she, like we all hung out for like an hour or so. I made sure to keep Mari up for a little while. And when she went to bed, I was just like up for a little while, just watching on her. I did take like one of my anxiety medications cause I was just like through the roof. I kept bawling the whole night. It was awful, but I'm so thankful she's okay. They all have told me that babies just bounce. <laughs> so, you know, I know this is a normal thing, but obviously I felt super guilty as is about not having the gate up, but it was because I was trying to get her ready. And usually she doesn't do that. Honey, it's over here. So it just really surprised me and it scared me. And calling 911, I've never had to call 911 before because thankfully I've lived a relatively privileged life and I never had to do that. So it was just really weird. And what's also ironic about it is I had to call I actually applied for the position that I was like calling the person, like that person I was going to apply for and I didn't put my application in because I decided that I liked what I do and didn't really feel like changing it up at all. <laughs> oh, and here's the golden piece to this. The one guy goes, is this your sister? I said, no, it's my kid or my daughter. And he goes, oh, you just look really young. I said, I am. <laughs> And then they asked if this, I think they asked if I was home alone or if this was my place or whatever, because obviously I looked too young to have a kid, so I probably looked too young to have my own place. And I was like, yeah, it's just me and my daughter. She's my person. She's the only person I have. And I started going on a tangent about that. And <sighs> I think they were like, yeah, she's crazy. <laughs> but they were like, you're first time mom, aren't you? I was like, yeah, because <laughs> I felt bad that I called them. <laughs> Come here. you what does your shirt say very important baby show them and say you picked out your pants too <laughs> yeah <gasps> go <gasps> <gasps> I love you oh so there's a little uh thing for you and a guy came in the office today and he goes oh are you playing hooky from school and we thought he was kidding um and what did my mom say she goes oh she's not in school or something like that and then he goes he made another comment about playing hooky from school I was like I have a daughter like I don't I'm not in school maybe from college but I've been playing hooky for over a year now so <laughs> scary and I just want to let anyone out there know that like stuff happens you are not a bad mom for something like this happening like I mean kids are quick but luckily they're pretty resilient and that's the story on how I had to call 911 on my toddler comment down below comment you've gotten about looking young or old because I get them a lot about one or the other I got them a lot before about looking older because most people wouldn't think I was as young as I was and now I get them about looking younger so I don't know, really weird. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so that way you get notified every time I post a video. Bye!